Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show and I'm back in the RV again today. And today I want to share with you a product that I got. Now usually I try out my products for at least a week, maybe a month before I release them to you in video format like this to let you know what I think of it. But this I'm pretty confident I'm going to like. It's the Panasonic HomeHawk window security camera. 24 seven recording on an SD card. That's what I like, no monthly fees. This is the HomeHawk by Panasonic. And guys, the reason I'm going this way is because it's window mount suction cup right up against the window. And right now, as you can see, I'll show you, I've got in this window here, it's next to the door. Uh, I've got a camera here. It's a Rio Link, solar powered. Sorry, lighting's not good. I'll get down here. This Rio Link solar powered camera. And it's it doesn't stay up all the time. When you make a drive, by the time the end of your drive, it's it's tilted back like this. You gotta always pay attention to it. And it also interferes with the blinds like that. It's so aggravating. I do have the solar panel mounted up in the window, up uh, behind this balance. But today we're gonna go with this non-solar powered. So we're gonna require power to it. And I figure I'll just use these outlets right near the window here. And that should work good for us. So stay tuned. We'll open it up and take a look at it and set it up. Okay, the Panasonic window mount camera. Information guides, manuals, power adapter cord, and I'm anxious to see how large this thing is or how small actually, I want it to be small. That's pretty much all you get in there. Here's the camera and it looks like a back cover for the camera. And uh, I think I'm gonna like this. It does seem kind of tiny for what it does. There's your camera, camera lens, and then the back housing. This back cover looks like it snaps on the back like that. And our power cord, and then of course you have to download the app, which I've already done. So let me get this thing uh, going uh, with the app and everything and I'll be right back. All right guys, I got the camera all set up with the app. I'm gonna now mount it. I got my old Rio Link solar powered camera off of the glass and I've cleaned it really well. So we're gonna take it and try to align it up horizontally straight. And then this lock tab right here, you're gonna push that down like that and we'll pull the suction to the glass. To release it, you'll pull the lock tab back like that. So here we go. Seems sturdy enough. Looks pretty straight. Let me get another view. Yep, that is pretty straight. Let's try to put the cover on now. See how that looks. I've already got the uh, plug into it. I've got an SD card in there. I put a 64 gigabyte SD card in there and formatted it and it works great so far. Okay, the cover just snaps on like that. And I'm gonna run this cord down the window glass and over to the outlet over there. Now guys, uh, they also give you a couple of these little cord holders with 3M sticky tape on the back. So those will work out well in routing this cord. Oops. So 
those clips work really well. I like those. Nice touch. All right, guys, let's take a look at the app on this HomeHawk window security camera. I really like it. I think it's going to be a great addition for RVs. If you guys have got an RV trailer of some sort and you've got it hooked up to power or generator or something like that, you will need it hooked up. If it's just in a storage facility with no power, this is not going to help you. But how we do in our case, we have a property up in Kentucky that we keep it in uh, or keep it under cover there, powered in and hooked to internet 24-7 uh, when we're not there. So we do have instant access to it 24-7. So in our case, the camera is going to work out good for us. And also when you're at campgrounds and stuff, you've got security built in. If you want to go out and do an activity, uh, you're watching your campground site with that neatly tucked in and hidden away in your window like we've had it and we hooked it up today. So here's our app here and you go in and I've got one camera from Panasonic so far. I'm going to go ahead and click on RV door. That's what I named it. And you're greeted with the live view right here. And then down below that uh, is your recording list. I don't have that many recordings just yet. Um, I got a few to test them out. So let's, you got rapid playback so you can just kind of briefly go through them quickly or you can look at them all individually. So let's look at this first one. It says motion. Click on that. It takes a second to load, I noticed, and then it will start playing. And it looks like it might have just picked up some windy motion out there from the awning. Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's play this next one down. It says person. It's loading. Okay, this is when I walked around. Now I'm walking about three foot away from the RV right there. So you're only getting from like my chest up at three feet away because the window is pretty high. I wish you could somehow angle the ball of that camera lens within that suction cup so that you could angle it down in cases like owning an RV like this and using their camera, that would be optimal. Okay, we'll go back. I think we had one more person one. Just test that one out. I like that it's compact. I went outside and I did, here you, you can see that when the door opens anyway, and there's when I get outside. Like I said, about from the waist up, you can see me. But I stood out there and I did take a couple shots of pictures at it. And the windows are already tinted uh, already. So you can't really see this thing because it's a black rectangle in your window glass. I'll, get, I'll show you a picture of that. <clears throat> but it's not real noticeable. If you didn't know what you're looking for, you wouldn't know there's a camera recording you. So guys, that's why I like this for RVs. I think it's perfect even at home. It won't record sound. That's the only thing because because your camera is behind the glass. So as long as you don't need sound, it'd be great for front windows of a house or side or rear windows. Keep on uh, keep an eye on your house, all parameters like that, and especially if you don't want them to know you have cameras. I don't know why you wouldn't, but. They uh, go in your window, they're uh, hidden very well behind blinds and stuff like that. They don't interfere. All right, let's take another look at this camera, further look. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go into live view here now. Click on that and I'll load up. And I like when you turn the camera or your phone like this, then you get the full view. So if you ever need uh, details flip your screen like that and then you can see the details and this is a live view you can actually take a shot a camera shot by pressing the camera icon you can start recording if you see something happening uh, when you're away from your RV or home just hit the record button it'll start a live recording when you want to stop just hit the record again 
and then we'll go into camera settings at the top right corner click on that and here's all your stuff all the guts of this app and camera first you got the name of the camera I named it RV door you got signal strength of the camera very strong signal strength in here with my uh, Wi-Fi network over T-Mobile cellular uh, we've got video video you can do uh, different resolutions I'm doing of course full resolutions and full uh, 30 frames per second that's what I bought it for why not go all out right and brightness you can select the brightness brightness seems very good and HDR and that bit rate level icon I don't need that and recording settings you can overwrite recording so it will continuously loop so it won't just stop after you filled up your SD card although I've got a pretty large size SD card at 64 gigabytes I've already formatted I suggest if you put a, a SD card in any security camera format it from that security cameras app don't format it on your computer first it just sometimes you can get uh, flaws and errors so make sure every time you put a new SD card into a, a camera security camera format it within their app which I've already done and you got notification settings uh, recording error notification mode change notification uh, motion notification detections uh, notifications can be changed from mode settings okay and you got detection right here now you can set a detection area say if I didn't want it to pick up this uh, this canopy valance right say I want to uh, I'm gonna X all that out so if the wind starts blowing that I'm not gonna get any notifications or recordings because I've X them all out it's only gonna get below the uh, canopy so I'm going to set that and a motion sensitivity level I'll just keep it at normal right now until I learn how it does this week and login settings uh, status LED I like that I can just quickly glance over there and you do see there's a blue light on if it's in operation and it's turned on and functioning I like to know that and then your network and uh, home wireless network and, and system information firmware updates let's see if there's a firmware update latest firmware is already installed okay good we're set so guys great security camera for RVs I'm excited to have this for my RV and I'm excited to share it with you let me know guys if you're gonna try this out for your RV let me know in the comments below I'm gonna leave all the links to the purchase of this camera now it was on back order and I just received it so I believe they just came off back order but uh, I'll leave the pricing description links everywhere to get it and uh, guys thanks for tuning in again and I'll see you on the next video